Whenever people ask me for just the simple advice for getting the best out of their chess-based software, I always start with the same two answers. First, read the manual, and second, update the program. So let's take a look at both of those. First of all, reading the manual. It's remarkable how many people just refuse to read the inf instruction manual these days uh, to anything, let alone the most sophisticated chess software on the planet. Uh, Chessbase 15 actually comes with a 485 page electronic manual. I'm never going to suggest that you try to read all of that in one sitting. However, Chessbase 15 also comes with an eight page electronic first steps booklet. I would definitely recommend you check that out. And the manual itself is a vast array of information. It should always be your first port of call when you want to know more about how to use Chessbase 15. If you bought Chessbase 15 as a digital download, then you can just get it from your Chessbase shop account where you got your Chessbase 15 from. Or anyone can get them. You just go to the Chessbase website, click on support and download. And there you've got the option to download the manual to Chessbase 15 and Chessbase 15 first steps. Now, updating the program. I'm not talking about the weekly game database updates that come with Mega Database, although that is an amazing feature that I'm going to look at in a future video. I'm referring to updating the actual program itself. With most computer software, not just chess software, the programmers, they periodically update their program. They release what's called a service pack or a patch, which is a small program that makes improvements or adds new features and even fixes any problems that may have come to light since the program was launched. And with so many computers out there in the world, each of them configured slightly differently with different hardwares, it's inevitable that um, this is you know needed. Many of us are, of course, familiar with the periodic updates to things like uh, Microsoft Windows or our web browsers. Well, Chess software is no different. And Chess Base regularly release updates to enhance your experience as well. Um, to make things as smooth as possible, after installing, the program actually automatically checks to see if there are any updates available. And then it checks each time you launch the program, which is very handy. And this follows on quite nicely from the previous video about installing Chessbase 15. So the last video ended with installation. Uh, we're going to look at now launching the program for the very first time. You're going to be prompted to activate your program. Uh, this is very similar to the activation during the installation. You can see that I've already copied that code that we used before. Um, here you've got to enter that 25 digit code. Do you remember from the previous video? It comes with your purchase of Chessbase 15. So if you're installing from DVD, the code's on the inside of the case. If you're installing from digital download, then the code's available on, the, on your Chessbase shop account. So you have to enter each section, five digits, set of five, and ends with CB, all codes end with CB15. In this case, you also have to enter the digits that are in the green box here. And this is going to be different for, for you. This is different every time you try and do this. So enter these, and you enter them in this box here. So click on the box, make sure that your cursor is flashing away. And in this case, it's JLCS. So I'm just going to enter those in via the keyboard, JLCS. And then when you're ready to go, just click OK. It's going to ask you if you want to activate, you click OK. You might get the big uh, scary uh, Windows account user account control pop up, but that's fine. Just click uh, yes to that. And then we again get that activation. This is why I um, copied and pasted the, the uh, I copied the code before we started. It just saves a lot of time entering this each time. So again, the four digit code. So we're doing program activation and online activation at the same time, which does seem, it sounds like we're doing a lot here, but it saves time in the long run. So again, O, Q, Y, U, your characters will be different. Click on OK. And hopefully that's going to activate. There you go. Thank you. The activation was successful. You get the user account control warning again, which you won't see on the video. The screen will just go black and you get told that you can open the database files by double clicking them. This is where we get to the updating. This is what I wanted to show you. 
you're going to get prompted to update your program to the latest version if there is an update available. Now you can see here I'm currently running my version is version 19. Yes, I know it's Chessbase 15, but this is the 19th update of Chessbase 15. There's a 20th update out there. I strongly, strongly advise you to press yes at this prompt. Updating your software to the latest version is going to make your experience as smooth and as hassle-free as possible. Don't skip this step. Obviously, in this case, my numbers in 2019, your numbers may be different. So I'm going to click on yes, and it starts downloading. I'm going to close that Chessbase account screen that's just behind it as well. So we can get to that in a, in a future video. The blue bar is filling up from the left. You get the loud uh, use account control warning noise again. Um, you click on yes. Again, this is all stuff we want to happen. User account control obviously stops you accidentally installing unwanted programs, but this is stuff we want to do. And we're getting an installation, an installer. This is pretty similar to the original installation, but because it's installing a patch, it's a very similar process. Asking you to select a language. You can select any language you like. Obviously, I'm going to select English. You just click on that downward arrow to bring down the menu of all the different languages. Click on OK when you've got the language you want. And then you get that familiar welcome to Chessbase 15 setup. This is 15 SP, service pack, as I said. Um, so again, it's just a question of following those prompts. You can read that. It's recommended you close all the other applications before starting setup. That's a very good idea. It makes it possible to update relevant system files without having to reboot your computer. Click next to continue. Uh, then you're going to get the install location um, screen. Like with the in original installation, there's really no good reason to change anything on this screen. So just go ahead and click install then you wait a few moments as the program installs that status bar fills up green from the left you saw that happen pretty quickly but the amount of time it's going to take is going to depend on your computer but it really shouldn't take longer than a few seconds a minute at most it will likely be as quick as that then you've got the the um completing chess base 15 sp setup screen it's in been installed on your computer click finish to close setup if we want to run Chessbase 15 straight away, we just put a check in that box by clicking that little square box there. So put a check on it, click finish, and it'll reload Chessbase 15. Again, we've got that activation screen, so just follow those ones again. I know it seems like it's coming up a lot, but it's important that we do that. That's, I say, that's why I copied the code before we started all of this. And then we're ready to go. Now, you can check on the update status by opening Chessbase 15 like we have here, clicking on the file menu, the top left, and then going to the about button. When you click on that, you get a, a window with information about the team behind Chessbase 15. The important thing for our purposes, however, is the number and date in the brackets at the top. This gives the update version number, which in this case, Chessbase 15 update 20 and it was released on May the 2nd 2020 now obviously this is the latest update at the time of me recording this video but more may appear in the future so your information at the top here may differ um, you can actually manually check for updates at any time by just simply going up to file again clicking on uh, going over to activation and clicking on update program if your program already has the latest patch installed, then the update window, as you can see here, it says your version is version 20. The program is up to date. And then so you know you have the very latest updated version of Chessbase 15 on your computer. In conclusion, I would say installing updates is the single most important bit of advice that I can give anyone wanting to use Chessbase 15, or indeed any computer software. It's the first thing that I tell people to do whenever that they contact me for assistance. And it's the number one way to get the best from your Chessbase 15 software. In fact, you've watched this video, you've got a moment, go and do it now.